if you think you're going to just kind of sit back and uh, relax while Amanda's speaking, she draws you in. It's what a presence she has. It's, it's almost like she radiates wisdom and at, at such a young age. But while we might be all alone, we've never been more tightly tethered because we'll only weather this unknown together. Hi, my name is Linda Rafus, and I'm an executive producer with Strawberry Frog. My name is Tyke Arbaugh. I'm senior brand consultant at Truist. I'm Tyler D'Angelo, and I'm an ECD of Strawberry Frog. My name is Frederick Bond, and I'm a director. With this particular effort with United Way and Truist, it definitely made great use of a really powerful voice. Can you tell us a little bit about the inception of the idea? This was sort of the very beginning of 2020. You know, the country was sort of figuring out what was going on at that moment. With the onset of COVID, with George Floyd, it was just a time of great change for the whole country at once. Our purpose here in this whole project was to help drive engagement, uh, donations to United Way, because wow, what a time that the country needed help and what better partner than United Way to help deliver that message. As COVID hit, everything went out the window because the world changed practically you know, within overnight. And so that's where we began. We were doing uh, WebEx meetings with a three-way team. And that three-way team included uh, United Way partners, uh, Truist partners, and of course, Strawberry Frog, Frog Partners. I think what helped us succeed was everyone had a point of view, and in many cases, that helped make the work better. It was a natural partnership that came together with a shared message. It was good because the message was so similar. And from there, we said, well, who is best to deliver a message about unity? We were looking for uh, a voice that would rise uh, above that and find and find a way to sort of unite people together. I remember um, reading the script and thinking, wow, this is encompassing a wide range of personalities and famous people. And it was a kind of a, still a bit of a work in progress of who we could secure and who was the right fit for um, this message. Scott and Tyler called me up and, and said that they had this young poet uh, that they wanted to do something for United Way with. We found Amanda, who obviously is a brilliant writer, of course, and, so, and, and represented the youth. It was a little bit uncertain on how we were going to be approaching it, because we, we knew we had the um, uh, the poet, but we did not know really how we are going to um, visualize her poetry. Eventually, we land on this idea that we hear Amanda's beautiful poem through the speakers of these different uh, environments where people from all walks of lives are, are, are meeting her words. Somewhere another mom pays her bills, somewhere another child eats his fill, we were the world's neighbors. Can you tell us a little bit about the pre-production process? We went back and forth via email with um, Amanda and her agent to secure dates. Amanda with her mother and her twin sister. Amanda felt most comfortable doing it in her house, not leaving her house. And so we worked with her and her sister, who's extremely talented. And we sent them a big kit of uh, uh, lighting package. And, and we actually just sent a couple iPhones. It was really interesting because, you know, we, we they weren't allowed to even open the door at the time. Everything had to be sanitized and put uh, outside the door and they would open it and then they would take it in. So every piece of equipment had to be delivered in a very <laughs> unorthodox way. We had an amazing technical team on the other end of the Zoom with us. And we shot in her in her bedroom with her mother, as a, basically as the uh, AD and her sister was our DP. There's two pieces of this film. There was Amanda Gorman herself, and then there was the film that, was, that served as the visual narrative to the poem. We had a little bit of a trial and error, uh, not even so much error, but we had trial to sort of say, how do we hone this skill of, of producing remotely. So we had a remote production in New Zealand. For me, I get to look through the camera, the lens of the camera with this thing called Q-Tech. Then with Zoom, what we were able to do is, be, is talk to people. It sort of opened up the door to being able to be on the other side of the world and shoot something on the other side of the world and not having to travel there and you know all this. Of course, we had you know quarantine issues. So this was the only way we could um, perform this this um, this production. 
Did you have a favorite shot? Certainly the last one was one of my favorite shots because you felt the power of her words the most. But what I did like is there's a shot of the little girl on a three-wheeler. She's pulling a wagon with a, a boom box behind her and Amanda's spoken word is coming out of that boom box. And in the garage of a house that she's pedaling by, is a woman who glances back out at her. That moment of exchange is without question my favorite part of it. I think you connect with those characters really well and and, and the sort of um, the generational shift between these two individuals, I think is really beautiful. What has the response been like? Initially, it was, it was tremendous just because it's a great spot and it had a wonderful message. Especially at that time, I, when it came out, it was a comforting pillow. I think people were just blown away by um, Amanda. And then Amanda blew up. Amanda, of course, was very well known because she's the first youth poet laureate. But this was pre-inauguration. When we heard about the inauguration, it was it was a wow experience, of course, but, but I can't say it was very surprising because it was it was clear when we, we were filming with her and we had to deal with her that she was a star. And now I think it, that she is like, of course, gone like viral, 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 and everyone in the world is like a household name now. So I think um, our timing was really pretty great. She's just continued to get uh, all kinds of exposure and visibility and uh, she's the ticket. She's the real deal and it just felt right for the moment. Felt right for the moment.